Firstly, there is no significance. Um, it just means there's an extra species of mosquito, and we wouldn't have known about it had we not been looking for it. Um, but the hidden uh, reason, the reason why we're looking for it, is, as you know, there was this outbreak of uh, Zika virus last year, and Zika virus is transmitted by this particular type of mosquito. Uh, it's, it's a kind of mosquito called the uh, Aedes mosquito, uh, of which this is one particular strain. Uh, this is not native to this part of the world, but was recently spotted in Spain, and so we set about looking for it here, and about a year and a half later, we've managed to locate it here in Gibraltar. I mean, it's uh, different uh, mosquitoes that we're accustomed to insofar as these would bite aggressively during the day and their bites hurt a little bit more than normal. Well, these are different in that sense, and that's probably why they've earned the sobriquet of uh, tiger, not only because of the stripes that they have, but also because of their aggressive behavior. Yes, as you say, they are daytime uh, raiders. Uh, they tend to bite more aggressively. They also have a tendency to move from person to person. So if they are halfway through a blood meal and they're disturbed, they quickly get up and go off to the next person. So they're capable of spreading diseases mm -hmm. much faster than some of the other mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it is a, a, a more aggressive type of mosquito compared to the species that we are familiar with. But, but despite that, what you're saying is that there is no cause for alarm because the tiger mosquito is in Gibraltar, but the dangerous diseases that it carries are not. Absolutely. This particular mosquito is known to produce three diseases, of which uh, uh, Zika is one, and the others are uh, a disease called chikungunya and another disease called dengue which are prevalent in um, several countries in the world, uh, Americas, the South America, uh, parts of India, Thailand. But we don't have them here in Gibraltar. And because of that, there is no particular uh, difference in, the, in our health risk because the virus doesn't exist, so this mosquito cannot transmit any of these diseases. However, should somebody acquire this disease abroad and come home with the viruses in their bloodstream and they get bitten by this mosquito, then this mosquito can transmit it to another person. So what we would uh, urge people is if they're planning to travel abroad is to um, consult with their doctor as to the risks and if they're going to an area where there's uh, um, mosquito-borne diseases, then um, they should take suitable precautions to prevent being bitten by mosquitoes. Long sleeve shirts and mosquito nets and mosquito repellents and all those sort of things. And should anybody fall ill while abroad, what steps should they take upon returning to Gibraltar? If they were unfortunate to catch one of these diseases while they were abroad, when they come back, they should inform their doctor uh, as soon as possible. And having come to Gibraltar, the only difference now is that they should take mosquito bite prevention measures even after coming to Gibraltar so that they don't transmit it to other people. And on a more basic level, what precautions can people take against the tiger mosquito? Are standard mosquito repellents effective against them? Yes, absolutely. I mean, this, the very same measures have to be adopted, except that we, if you normally tend to um, uh, treat mosquitoes as night time uh, uh, pests. Um, bear in mind that they c these can also be daytime uh, pests. So in short, you're not concerned that the tiger mosquito is in Gibraltar? No, I'm not worried at all. At this moment, there is nothing to be worried about. Uh, uh, the virus isn't here. And, well, what's another mosquito? At the moment, that's all it is, just another mosquito in our collection.